Hey guys, in this vlog I'm going to be talking about the new YouTube policy that says that all new YouTubers have to have at least 10,000 views before they will monetize your account. I'm going to be talking about that along with a few other requirements that YouTube has for YouTubers in order to be successful on the channel. That and more after this. <music> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Astronaut in Peril. This is Astronaut, and like I said earlier, I'm going to be talking about the 10,000 view policy once again. Now guys, if you've been following my vlog series, um, I've talked about this before, this video is going to be a bit of a part two to that earlier vlog that I did. In that earlier vlog, I went over the new YouTube policy, and if you recall correctly, <laughs> if you were watching, you will remember that I had a small temper tantrum. But now the wait is over and I am happy and relieved to announce that I finally reached that 10,000 view mark a few days ago. Yes! Uh, uh, where's the confetti? Whew, I am so relieved to finally get to that mark. I have been staring at my YouTube channel for three months waiting for those numbers to come in and they are finally here. Okay, so guys, I'm going to take some time right now to go over the whole process of monetization in case there's anyone out there who's curious about monetizing their channel. If you are new to YouTube or even if you've been with YouTube for a while and you've been doing your channel as a hobby and you're thinking about possibly getting more involved in the business side of YouTube and wanting to know how to get a, a monetization setup going, I'm going to go over that really quickly with my channel and show you exactly where to go in your setup and in your settings to be able to access that information and follow the step-by-step -step process to get your monetization up and running. Alright guys, so um, here goes. If you are interested in monetizing your account, this is what you need to do. Now, here is my channel. And basically, you just go up to the upper right hand corner where your icon would be. Mine is a NASA logo there. Cheese. <laughs> and um, go to your creator studio. Now, I hope you are seeing this accurately. I hope I'm not... Um, aiming this at the wrong part of the screen here. Okay, so we just wait for it to pull out. And basically I'm gonna show you step by step. It's really, really simple to be honest with you because if you know where to go in the Creator Studio, YouTube pretty much walks you through the process. Okay, so over here in the left-hand corner, you're gonna see a list of tabs and you're going to want to go down to where it says channel. Click on the channel tab. And once you click on the channel tab, it will list four or five uh, uh, tabs beneath, yeah, beneath the channel tab here, okay. So here where it says status and features is, you can, act, it's actually a really quick way to reference or to see exactly that you're standing for monetization. As you can see, my account is still in review, which I'll get to in just a second, but it says right here that um, monetization, you'll see monetization on your channel as well, and mine is not enabled, okay. I just got my 10,000 views and my channel is in review for monetization, so it still says un, uh, not enabled for the moment, okay? But if you just look where it says right here, status and features is the first tab under channel and scroll down, you will see monetization and it will show you the status of your monetization. Now, if you go back over here and click on the second tab under channel, which is monetization once again, it will pull up the process step by step that you have to meet in order to become monetized. Now at the very top you see it says monetization. It just started saying that uh, a day ago. It said account status in review. Review started on October 10, 2017. We'll email you when your channel is approved. So that is the message that you get after you reach your 10,000 views. Now if we go down here, this is something you can do before you get to the 10,000 mark. Um, you can go down here to where it says apply for monetization. And the first thing that it step takes you through is you have to click, normally there's a link here, but I've already done it, so you, uh, you won't see it here. But it says YouTube partner program terms accepted. You have to click a box and accept that. The second thing is you have to set up your AdSense account. That is how you get paid. 
and um, there's a link and it actually walks you through it I've already done it so now we just see these settings here so I've already set up my AdSense account that is all ready to go the third thing that you will see is the monetization preference set now this is something you don't really have to worry about immediately because this has to do with placing your ads on your videos you get to choose whether you want the ads to run at the beginning of the video in the middle of the video you can break it up or you can have them run later on in the video wherever but this is where you go to click and choose exactly where you want the ads to run because the, the ads are where you are receiving your revenue that's um, the whole point of the monetization which is to basically run ads on your video so that um, you um, so that the sponsors and the companies of the ads can clearly make uh, make money and then uh, YouTube in turn pays you by you um, monetizing your account and allowing these ads to run and they give you a portion of those proceeds okay so the very last thing that you have to take care of which is of course the 10,000 views um, mark and I've already taken care of that it even shows you a, a progress bar that you can check in with um, as you're trying to get your 10,000 views but I've already reached mine so I have a little message here it says channel under review you've reached 10,000 views nice job yes YouTube tells me nice job <laughs> um, your channel is now being reviewed to make sure it complies with the YouTube partner program terms and and our community guidelines we'll email you a decision usually within a week and you better believe I've been checking my email like a billion times a day since then so so guys yes that is all of the information in a nutshell I really wanted to walk you guys through the uh, settings uh, portion of my channel and show you exactly where to go if you're interested in monetizing your channel um, and possibly you know you might be lucky enough to where if you already had your channel for a while and you're just now wanting to maybe get involved in uh, monetization you may not even have to go through the 10,000 views thing you might already even have the 10,000 views and you just simply have to set up your AdSense account and go through these um, steps that they have listed here and wait for your review and get started much quicker and much sooner than others have had to do and like I said guys setting up the AdSense account which is what you have to have set up in order to get a payment from Google or from YouTube um, it's really really simple it's very easy if you know where to look like I just showed you um, the link when I found the link the link took me automatically to the AdSense page and just walked me through it so that's really not very hard to do at all all of this is really really simple monetizing your channel is really very very simple but the thing about it is a lot of the information isn't readily available you really have to do your research and type in monetization in the search bar and it pulls up a lot of great videos that will tell you immediately what to do but a lot of times people don't quite know um, how to go through the steps or even what the first step is and it's really simple like I just showed you here with my channel and also just with typing in monetization and doing some research with that on YouTube it really fills you in and gives you a lot of great insight to getting your channel off the ground so guys I really want to talk about the monetization and the 10,000 view policy and meeting that which whew, I finally got that out of the way but now I want to talk about the other requirements that YouTube has that some people may or may not know but it makes a huge difference in the performance of your videos now guys in some of my past videos I've covered some of this already but I'm gonna go over some of that again and some new information that I have found out which I think is really worth mentioning now of course for being on YouTube if you want your videos to perform well you really have to do research and you have to pay attention to the changing trends in the YouTube algorithm in order for your videos to do well there are some tips that you have to pay attention to first and foremost you have to pay attention to using keywords in your title in your description box and in your um, keyword search it's very important that you include these in every uploaded video number two it is very important to transcribe your videos and I think this is a step that a lot of people overlook but transcribing your videos simply has to do with going into your settings and under each video click edit and at the top it'll say subtitles and under that tab that is where it allows you to transcribe your videos and basically get closed captions placed on your videos which allows um, YouTube to have more information about the video that you're uploading which increases your chances of having better results 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 on searches so people can find you number three the third tip this is a relatively new one but something that I have seen and heard some very notable youtubers discuss 
um, is the fact that YouTuber is, YouTube is wanting longer videos. This means that the longer your video is, the more YouTube likes it and the more YouTube will promote it. Now when I say longer, the targeted amount I believe is between um, like 7 to 15 minutes. So now YouTube is really, really big into um, videos that are at least in between 7 to 15 minutes. The longer the video is, the more it's going to register um, with the search engine and YouTube is going to um, really boost the videos that will basically allow, allow for more engagement and keep people on YouTube, engaging with YouTube longer. Number four, ranking. Now guys, a lot of people uh, may not know um, or be all that familiar with ranking or any of the other uh, tips that I've given, but um, ranking is basically what you see whenever you type in something in the search bar and the first the first three, four, five results that come up, those videos have been ranked um, uh, for that for that keyword phrase whatever you type in new car um, how to sing how to shop for winter clothes um, those are two those are considered keyword and keyword phrases so YouTube has a system that ranks people's videos under each and every keyword keyword phrase out there so whenever you see the top videos that pop up on a page after you type in a keyword or of whatever you're looking for, those videos have been ranked by YouTube, which means the number one person has been ranked number one and you will see them number one every time you do a search, which means that person is going to be getting a ton of views. They are going to be doing well. So you want to get ranked. You don't have to be number one or number two. You can be number three, four, five, six, seven. I've had videos, actually I have a video right now that's ranked number six under a particular keyword and as a result I'm getting a lot of views for it and it's really making a huge difference for me. So you don't necessarily have to have the number one video, although it of course helps, but you don't have to have the number one video to do well or to have your video do well or to get views. You just need to get ranked somewhere on the front page or within the first 10 to 15 um, search results of course. So. And the way you get ranked, of course, goes back to number one, tip one I told you about, how much detail you pay attention to doing your title, your description, and the, and the keywords that you list for your videos. That's how you get ranked. The ranking system looks at the keywords that you place in your title, the keywords that you have included in your description, which are some people include multiple times in their description, and the keywords that you have listed um, under your key, under just in your keyword box so all of that has to line up and if something is a possible if something is a popular keyword you might want to make it your own by extending extending the keyword into a keyword phrase so uh, the keyword might the keyword or the keyword phrase let's say might be um, new car so in order if you want to get ranked there's well there's a ton of people that's probably already ranked for new cars but you can try to get ranked under another keyword by saying brand new car so if you put in brand new car you might actually get ranked because there might not be that many videos out there using that exact same keyword so if you put it under new car well it's gonna get bumped down but if you put it under brand new car you might have and in, in, and the list goes down the I mean the list goes on and on and on you could do new car 2008 or new car 2017 new car um, whatever you know basically to add on a few extra words to that keyword and that will increase your chances of possibly getting ranked for that keyword phrase and of course getting your video up so that you can get more views alright guys I've been talking and talking and talking and talking but I hope some of this really has been beneficial um, like I said I've reached my 10,000 views I'm waiting to get my monetized account set up and um, I just need to wait for that review process to be over and to get my email in the account I mean in my the email in my email box and that's pretty much the process hopefully I, I outlined that for y'all um, and um, and that's pretty much how you get things uh, set up for getting monetized and of course those tips that I gave you at the end of the video really to YouTube YouTube really kinda considers these to be requirements but they don't really put these on blast you really have to be willing to roll up your sleeves and do the research and really pay attention to the videos that are out there there are a lot of YouTube pages that are dedicated to revenue from YouTube and you know conducting um, conferences and having setups where people attend I mean this is a massive massive thing 
So those tips that I gave you, hopefully they are beneficial, that they will encourage you to look up more information on YouTube. And if you really want your videos to perform well, you really have to take a lot of this seriously and um, implement it um, as effectively as you possibly can. All right, guys, that's my time. I will see you in the next video. I'll show you out.